It's the middle of March. The weather's nice. The snow's all gone. And the turkey should be gobbling. Well, I'm out here in the back 40 today to do some scouting around, see what kind of big toms I've got in my area. All I seen this afternoon was some hens and some small jakes. But those big toms are there. Well, there was a scouting around for some long beards. Just some jakes, but there's a nice one right there. An eight or ten inch beard. Quite a ways away from them. I think I'm going to take a walk down, see how close I can get to them. There's a big long beard. See him in a couple weeks. Now we know he's here. What an awesome afternoon. I found that big long beard I've been looking for. I didn't see him uh, a couple weeks ago when I was out, but I know he's here. I'm going to see him in a couple weeks. Thanks for joining me, Redneck Ricky in the Back 40. I'm just checking over some video footage I shot yesterday. I decided to go out and do some pre-season scouting for some wild turkeys. The spring turkey season doesn't open for another month yet, but I thought I'd better get my pre-season scouting in early. Today's April 24th and turkey hunt starts tomorrow. Had a little bit of snow last night. It's the end of the first day of my spring turkey hunt. It wasn't a very good day today. We had some snow yesterday, so I didn't think it would be a very good day. But tomorrow should be a better day. I thought today would be a better day, but it doesn't look like it. It's the third afternoon of my spring turkey hunt. Nice big long beard over here. Got a good 8 or 10 inch beard on. Try and call him over here. Well, it's time to head home again. All I saw was that nice big uh, long beard out there. The weather hasn't been very nice. It's an awful cold and windy today. It's been raining for the last couple days. But the forecast is nice and sunny and warm for the next four days. So it's time to get out hunting. I'm just heading out for another afternoon of turkey hunting. It wasn't very good yesterday. They said it was supposed to be sunny today, but it's pretty cloudy. The weather report called for sunny and warm for the next three or four days. I think they were wrong. There's that nice long beard. Got my decoy out today. He's answering my call. Stay in there. Come on over, big boy. He's just standing there, fanning. Come on over, Mr. Longbeard. Shut the camera off. 
I'm gonna keep uh gotta change the desk. What a time to have to change the desk. Yeah, baby. Woo! Wow! Oh my god. Boy, that happened quick, man. My heart's still pounding. I'm still shaking, man. Let's go check this bird out and see what we got. Awesome hunt that was, boy. I was only here for an hour. Called that gobbler from a distance over here. There was actually two of them. One was further off. Using a Quaker Boy box call. Feather Flex hen decoy. Does the trick. Here in Ontario this year for 2012, 
we have a new tag system. We have to wrap the tag around the, the leg, put a piece of twine through there, a piece of string. I changed my hunting clothes today. I don't have a piece of string. The only piece I have is off my camera bag. So I'm gonna have to cut a piece off of that to tag this bird. What an awesome hunt that was, boy. I was only here for an hour. Called that Tom off from a long ways. Quaker boy box call. I stopped calling, he wasn't moving at all, so I stopped calling him. And then he decided to come over and check her out. Feather flex decoys, boy, work great. Got a big old Tom here. Got a good eight inch beard on him. Big old spurs. Big mature bird. Big mature long beard. He came in close to that decoy. I just had to wait till he dropped his feathers and raised his head a little bit. Quaker Boy box call. Feather flex hen decoy. Single shot cooey. Triple threat. Even though I've had a bad heart attack, I don't let that stop me from doing what I love to do. And that's turkey hunting, baby. I had to stop along this creek here. I'm about halfway back to the lodge. This bird and all the camera gear were starting to get heavy. This bird was way over 20 pounds. I still have quite a walk before I get to the lodge. I finally made it back to the lodge. I'd like to thank you for joining me for the spring turkey hunt. I still have another tag to fill, so I'll be out again. Today on the Back 40, I'd like to talk to you about setting up your turkey decoy. Now today I'm using the Feather Flex Hen Decoy, and I set that up about 20 yards in front of me. Now there's three crucial things that are very important. One, to set the decoy up on high ground so the old long beard can see it. Two, you set the hen decoy in the opposite direction you figure those turkeys to be coming from. And three is don't call too much. When that old long beard sees your hen and it looks like it's heading away from him, stop calling. Once you get his attention, he'll come running to that decoy because he wants to catch her because she's leaving.